Well, if viewers see something while they're out driving and wonder, mm -hmm. what's that? Our Danny New is on the case. Um, especially what's that when we live in the Mile High City and you see a high flying act, you kind of do a double take. Yes, because I thought this was going to be indoors. I ah. did not imagine that I would drive up to the Irving Street Library in Westminster <laughs> and see this. Go. Good, here we go. First position, foot and thigh on the bar. Good, final position, arch your back. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Casual. Wow. Oh my yep. goodness. Just a flying trapeze school, of course, on the field outside the library. <laughs> that voice you heard is this man, Michael Radibush. He is a former circus performer who was originally from Belgium, born in Belgium. And when he moved to Colorado, he was like, hey, why aren't there that many flying trapeze schools? It's a good workout. It's thrilling, right? Come on, could be fun, Jess. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I, I actually love it. I want to see what you did up there, though. Well, That's my. We'll I can barely do a slap. <laughs> we'll get to my kind of attempt, Brian. I believe in you. Okay, You're very nimble. Uh, so the city of Westminster agreed with Michael. They let him build a giant trapeze for the summer. They're hosting camps all throughout July. They welcome people from ages five years old all the way up to their 80s. The word is already starting to spread. People are very excited about this. Well, they can see it. Like, they're just driving yep. by. They're like, what is that? Is that a pirate ship? They're exactly. Like, they're like, wow. And then when they see people doing it, we've kind of stopped traffic at times. People stop and they look and they're like, oh my gosh, what is going on people there? People are flying. And then people are flying through the air and we get all these recreational classes. So they see themselves in the two because it's not pros or like professional athletes. These are everyday people that say, you know, I'm, I want to new workout. I want a new fitness activity. I'm tired of going to the gym, so I'm going to come here and have a workout here. You're going to put both hands on the bar. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> Jess, you mentioned this. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I wasn't ready to go airborne, but Michael, let me try the first step that it takes to doing it. And I'm going to be real with you because we're all friends here. I don't like heights. I'm not good at flying. <laughs> I don't like going upside down. I like to stay upright the way gravity intended. Uh, so I did not really take this like a champ. All right, I got you here. You can take your hands off. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, Good. All the way ah, above your head. Ah, like you're on a roller ah, coaster. Ah, I don't like coaster. roller coasters. Yep. Okay. Straight arms, straight arms. Okay. There you go. I don't like this. Very nice. I Sit feel back done. up. Grab the bar. Ah, that was epic ah, right there. And your feet come back through ah, the middle where they came from. Ah, there you ah, go. Ah, That's it. That, that is a meeting. So that is what we teach way up there. I want to thank my mom, my wife, my dad. You can be very proud of yourself. Thank you so much. Yep, this uh, is exactly what you would do. I'm glad he was there to console you uh, yeah. through that. Well, he was in charge of getting me back up. So I'm like, is it time yet? Can I come back yet? Can I come back up yet? Please, please, Michael. Please, Mr. Michael. Please, Mr. Michael. Um, but they do have camps all throughout July. That looks fun yeah. to you. We'll have a link for you on our website. Uh, how do you think your kids would do? They want to come out oh, to my, do Well, my kids school? do that kind of stuff every day on the playground with no safety they, net. They so do. It makes like me this. nervous just to watch them. And just they over think the it's, mulch, they right? Think it's, they think it's nothing. <laughs> they yeah. don't do wood chips anymore, right? We don't have those. I don't know. Well, they're, the they're still in some days. playgrounds, I think, because okay. it ends up in their shoes and socks. <laughs> you yeah. find them in their shoes. But they do have a harness, Lisa. If you want to do it, they'll uh, fasten you in. I, you know I would do it. No problem. You know what I want to do? I want to mash up all of the screams from your stories together. Oh, that'd be, yeah. Because <laughs> I think every every story we send Danny on, uh -huh. he ends up screaming at some point mm -hmm. or another, right? I'm really sorry. That people who a good just, song. <laughs> yeah, a little auto-tune of me compilation. If yeah. you just woke up, I'm really sorry that I screamed in your morning. I'm you're sorry. helping him wake up. You're doing it. Okay, yeah, then you're welcome.